2nd of November, November, no January, I'm sorry I've just woken up. Um, okay Muriel, this cat is taking liberties with how loudly she howls when she wants to be fed. And the worst thing is she's now on my timetable so it's like 5am every day <laughs> without doubt she howls at my door. So if my alarm doesn't work for any reason that's fine, I've got my cat which is wonderful. My adopted cat. I thought I would just take the camera around and show you a day in my life as I go to work uh, in the hospital, um, as I do my other work. I say other work, I need to stop doing that because it is real work. So my work as a fitness coach online um, and all the other online stuff that I do. So I just live in my life. Number one, I take my dressing gown <laughs> tie <laughs> out of my hair. Please forgive how broken this comb is. I don't even think the curls have... They've not sat very well today, but to be honest, it's more of a token habit act at this point rather than actually curling my hair because I will be putting my hair up in a bubble for work anyway, so... Um, but usually it comes out a lot better than this, so that's a shame. Are you coming in? Or are you beckoning me down to feed you? Feed you it is. Jumbo rolled oats, jumbo in particular. Oh, I always feel so boring doing what I eat in a day because I pretty much eat the same type of meals every day. I eat what makes me happy with minimal effort. I already made a whole video on that about my number one healthy eating rule, so feel free to check that out. And the cat likes it too, don't you, Mimi? Yeah, you do. Gorgeous. <laughs> is today's lunch meal prep so we've got some overdone <laughs> oven baked honey and soy and garlic salmon um, with some edamame bean I feel like it's I don't know some kind of edamame bean pasta and chopped tomatoes a bit of basil on top as well because my basil plant is thriving yeah that'll be good for today this is it um, edamame and mung bean fettuccine pretty decent macros if I may say so myself Time for my daily gratitude journal, which is almost full. I only have this many pages left. Oh, you're really far away, so you can't see. But it is almost full, honestly. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
housemates look after four chickens and a cat still so dark out this early in the morning the chickens are okay aren't they hey guys you okay way to work um i just wear a big old fleece i've got my scrubs in my bag um because obviously I have to change my clothes because obviously it's coronavirus. Um, so I've got my scrubs in my bag and I've got these on. Let me show you, I quite like this outfit and I feel like it's wasted in the dark. I've got these leggings from Nike and they're super cute. And then I've got my thick winter socks on because it can be pretty cold in these mornings. One thing I need to not forget is to grab my phone. I actually leave my phone to charge downstairs. I've got my headphones on, but nothing playing. Um, I leave my phone to charge downstairs because I find that if it's right by my bedside, I can turn it on and I will just switch it on and scroll through Twitter endlessly. And that's just a waste of time. I don't have much time in the mornings, which is also a reminder that I need to stop talking and leave. Phone. We're ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my. This is a little bit highlighted. Just a little. I needed to do my job but as you can see I've changed I'm in my scrubs I am at work I have broken my stethoscope and lost the end so this is just a plastic toy at the moment I need to replace that or find that which is very frustrating um basically I get into work I join the ward round with the morning consultant um, and we see all the patients that have come in overnight um, I get a load of tasks things that I need to do for those patients and to be honest I tend to do the jobs as I'm on the ward round like as I go and um, because there can be quite a lot of stuff to do and I do want to get to clerks and patients to so see the new patients as they come in I work on acute medicine um, but I usually spend the first few hours of the day doing those jobs so today we've got two patients one of whom we think might have meningitis another one we think might have a subarachnoid hemorrhage so a bleed in the brain um, and what I need to do for both those patients to find out whether they have these things is a lumbar puncture so that is getting a sample of the CSF fluid that surrounds the spinal cord and sending off to the lab to check for any infection or any signs of a bleed so I'm in the stock room right now as you can see just collecting all the stuff that I need to do this lumbar puncture and um, it's a pretty simple procedure to be honest at first it's pretty exciting but then you kind of get used to them and to be honest I usually have multiple to do every day we clean the area I get all gloved up scrubbed up um we use aseptic technique i numb the area so just in the lower back i'm going to numb the patients um, and then i'm going to go in to get some fluid out um, i will measure the pressure of the csf just to double check for anything else that could be causing their symptoms so high or low pressure headaches um then i'm going to bottle them all up and send them off so i've just been collecting everything that i need i've just got two pick and mix bags full of all the stuff that i need so i've got my gloves my sterile gloves got the manometer so that is what I'll use to measure the pressure um, and I've got the needles so the spinal needles sorry my hands are so dry it's because I wash them like a million times a day and I've left my moisturizer elsewhere today the spinal needles are actually super long um, which can make patients nervous so I'm very careful not to show them this needle because they can't see me when I'm doing the procedure they can't see the needle so I try not to scare them with it because actually I numb the area really well so while they might feel some pressure they shouldn't feel pain 
But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do those procedures. Sorry that I can't take the camera with me. That would be very intrusive on the patient. So sorry, not sorry. Um, but I thought I would just let you know that that is part of what I'm doing today. I've got a long list of other jobs to do. I've got some scans to request. I need to chat to, well, I've already spoken to actually one of the granddaughters of one of the patients. So yeah, I think I will crack on with this lumbar puncture. See you soon. <laughs> Well, hey guys, so it is lunchtime. I've done all my urgent bits on the ward. I'm just going to stop and grab some food. But one thing that I am currently doing that I thought you might be interested to know is that I'm trying to help out with the doctor's room. So there's like a room called the mess um, where it's supposed to be like a relaxation room for the doctors. And ever since I've worked here, it's been a bit rubbish. It's just not the best. You wouldn't really want to relax in there. So I have volunteered as co-president. I'm just trying to get some funding and different things to help make it really good and help to like lift people's spirits during the pandemic because I think a lot of doctors have just been really stressed and just need to do this all really quickly while I'm on my lunch break before I have to go back to the ward so yeah it's an extra few tasks but I think it's definitely worth just taking it on and it's just one of those tiny ways that I feel like I can probably contribute some of my passions in terms of organizing stuff and getting things you know I love I love party planning <laughs> so this is not a party but just doing things that lift people's spirits really is something that I love to do and um, so yeah I'm quite excited about this I think it's going to be really good um and also I've definitely found that whenever I feel down or whenever I've been stressed during these times finding a way that you can help someone else really makes you feel so much better and really does just realign your gratitude and remove that sense of helplessness because it's like oh, okay I can help this person in that way and yeah I think that helping other people is a really underrated form of helping yourself <laughs> which sounds like a really selfish way to put it but um, yeah I've definitely found that you know at different points just saying okay what can I do to help someone else now while I'm feeling down or while I'm feeling stressed about something and then I find a way to help someone else and immediately my perspective is shifted um yeah I don't know if that makes sense but I hope it does anyway I need to have lunch now <laughs> I need to get back on the ward so bye my hands are so dry they are so dry favorite snack I mean did they go off yesterday kind of yeah but they'll be fine it's a use by Oh wait, not a best before. Do you know what? It's still going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> My dad told me that these dates were written by humans so they can be unwritten by humans. So I'm going to unwrite these and eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't copy me, by the way. That's not good. Do that at your own risk. Not because I said to. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. I've also got some leftover Brazil nuts. There's only like four left in here, so I just bought the whole bag. Um, but yeah, that's my snacks while my food warms up. So ready to go home. It is 20 to 4. Um, I was supposed to finish at 3. This isn't too bad to be honest, a lot of the time I end up staying a lot later. Um, but I've just handed over and I'm so ready to go home. I'm so tired today. I don't know why I'm so tired. I feel like I don't think I've drunk enough water. Yeah, I don't think I've drunk anywhere near enough water today. I don't think I've drunk since breakfast. <music> segment with my church about how things have been at work so I'm just gonna like feature on the church how cute is this diary my mum got me blessed she put my whole name on it um yeah I've, um, I'm doing a little segment just speaking to the church about work during the pandemic and it is now 4 30 so I need to log on and speak with my pastor about life during the pandemic and the importance of exercise at home. I was gonna try and get changed and look semi-presentable for it but I really don't have time because um, we're starting now. Yeah I'm just gonna be chatting about what it's been like at work and yeah just talking to the church really. It's quite a cool idea for a little segment because obviously they've been doing church online. We've made it in the end. 
I just want to go to bed and nap but I need to check in on everyone who's doing healthy at home and see how everyone's getting on um, week four has just gone up so I just want to make sure everyone's getting on okay I'm trying to get so much done at the moment it feels like I'm juggling so many balls but equally I want to make time for like peace and happiness um, <laughs> so yeah I don't know I feel like I really want to nap but also I kind of want to do my nails for the weekend I got myself a little nail gel kit so that would be fun one thing I've been doing every day is planning my day in advance so I listened to this amazing book called indestructible so I was just struggling so much to get the stuff that I want to get done done um, so I listened to this book and he talks about traction and how you can't have distraction if you haven't got traction. If you don't even know what you're supposed to be doing and when, then you're not distracted. You haven't even planned your day and that, you know, time is so valuable and it's the one thing that we just don't even plan how we're going to spend it. Um, and he talks about how to-do lists aren't the one that you need traction. You need allocated time slots for what you're doing. And I've done that before in the past, but the mindset with which I do this now is very different. So it's with less of a stressful to-do list and more as like, I find it really helpful because it gives me a more realistic idea of what I can actually get done in the day. Instead of saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna edit 10 videos, I'm gonna finish writing up this interview and blah, blah, blah. Like, no, like planning it hour by hour, you realize, okay, tomorrow I probably only have time to edit two videos and that is just how it is. Um, and one thing that's really helped is that I bought this huge whiteboard um, which I keep in front of my TV because I've got a TV in my room at the moment um, and so anytime I just want to binge Netflix I would have to move my traction whiteboard to do that and he talks about this in the book as well I think it's by Nia Eyal if I'm saying that right but he basically talks about how adding friction to the things you don't want to do so for example, me putting my phone downstairs, so before I can scroll down Twitter, I have to go downstairs and get my phone. Um, and removing friction from the things you do want to do. Um, and I find that just that little action of having to move away my day plans in order to turn on the TV in my room, because I don't want to be watching TV in my room as well, because there's a whole other thing about sleep. Um, but even that little friction, it helps so, so much. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but this is my daily traction. So um, you can see a very detailed list of everything that I plan to do today. Um, it's not the most exciting day. Um, sorry that I didn't choose a more fun day to vlog, but this is more of a typical day. So this morning, I fed the cat. I made my coffee, I had porridge and blueberries. Packed my lunch, I fed the chickens, I prayed and read my Bible, I did my gratefulness and my affirmations, I showered, I got ready, I left the house, went to work, walked there and home. Um, I've had quite a lot of snacks today, they brought in a load of food, so I don't think I'm going to have another snack now. I've done the Zoom call, do an interview, I've got a magazine that's been released that wants to interview me, which is very exciting, um, so I need to write up the answers for that. I think I should do my workout now because I feel like I need that energy boost um, and otherwise I feel like I'm gonna sit at that computer then I'm gonna eat dinner I'm gonna shower and go to bed and I'm not gonna do a workout and I actually do need to exercise today I want to exercise today so that's what we'll do we'll put on our workout clothes these are the steps I take when I don't feel like working out number one get dressed so put on your workout clothes number two put on some exciting hype workout music number three just start just do like one burpee just do like one just do one squat just start the workout before you know it you'll feel like doing it okay right now just to actually do it so confession, I did not get dressed straight away and go and work out. It is now quarter to seven. Um, I just sat on the computer working on um, 
the healthy at home workout plan and when I say working on I mean just like stalking how everyone's doing <laughs> answering questions catching up with people um and I have no regrets that was good I do feel like I would have just been thinking about it while I was working out so now that that's done I'm gonna go and do my own workout so yeah let's go I do not feel like doing this but life is not about the short-term feels it's about what you're working for in the long term and integrity with yourself and I said I would work out today it's on my daily traction so I'm gonna work out no matter how I feel and in about 10 minutes I'm gonna feel great so let's go my housemate Gina. <laughs> Good workout Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, you saw none of it. I was just saying how bad it was. I could hear it, it sounded intense. <laughs> That's what happens when you play good, uh, good workout music. Um, yeah, um, I'm just tired and I feel a bit meh and to be honest I've been feeling meh for a while now in terms of just like lockdown and it's kind of like Groundhog Day, but I keep reminding myself there's so much to be grateful for because there is so much to be grateful for. And equally, I do feel like I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing right now, which is working as a doctor and working on my online stuff with you guys. So the Healthy at Home program, I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, there's nothing to, I don't know, I float between not wanting to complain because there's so much to be grateful for, but also wanting to acknowledge my own feels and that yeah it does kind of suck to not be able to go and just like visit my family or see my friends and stuff so um <sighs> I don't know one thing that's better though is that I'm not eating my feelings anymore I'm like processing them and handling them well <laughs> um yeah I really really want to order in takeaway it's not even that I want to order it, I just want to eat something really delicious and I don't want to cook it. And when I phrase it like that, I feel like I should order in. Let's have a look in the kitchen and see what we've actually got. Okay, so I've been staring into my cupboard for about 58 years now and still I don't see a meal. I see components, I see the building bricks of a house and yet no home. So, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to order it. What's, you know, what's happening if you're ordering in? Finances and like life goals. The person I want to be, be the person I am. <laughs> uh, can you compromise and have like a healthy takeaway? What's the healthy takeaway? I don't know. <laughs> 
Asian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Noodles. <laughs> to be fair, I could have noodles. But I literally have noodles right in front of me here. But they're just not cooked noodles, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should take a break. This week has been pretty much non-stop with like one to-do list after another. So maybe I should actually take a break. It is Saturday tomorrow and I don't need to be up early. I think I might order in. This is exciting. <laughs> Please ignore how messy everything is. Um, I just sat there like scrolling through Just Eat for about, for about half an hour and I didn't find anything that I wanted so I was like I'll take a shower so I've showered. I'm just gonna start getting ready for bed because I don't even think I'm that hungry. I'm not that hungry I just feel like ugh. you know I just chose a sad playlist in the shower. <laughs> I literally was scrolling through Spotify looking for like heartbreak songs, even though I'm not even heartbroken, so I don't know. Um, I think I will go and chill with my housemates and just hang out. There's actually only one thing on my list for today that I haven't done, but I've had a really busy, really stressful week actually, and so I think I'm gonna give myself a break. I think that's one of my main character flaws is not giving myself a break. Like, give yourself a break, Sarah. Um, so I'm just gonna chill out tonight. I might even just like file down my nails or something. This is not a skincare video. I feel like I've still got eye makeup. No? I'm all good. This is not a skincare video, but if you do want a skincare video, then let me know. Won't you stay with me? Cause you're, you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see But darling, darling, darling Stay with me there you guys I am ready for bed but I'm just gonna go downstairs and like hang out with my housemates for a bit um, and then go to bed sorry that this has ended on such a bum note <laughs> I think I'm just tired I think I'm just tired and yeah I guess I'm a bit over lockdown I would I would love to be able to just see my family and my friends and stuff but equally I'm still grateful um, but yeah I think you know when you just like I don't know what I want right now I probably just need a nap but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you've enjoyed it um, if you want more videos like this then just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to film more days in the life thank you so much for watching I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video very soon love you so much bye <laughs> Though we both stay the same.